Hey gang, it's the disembodied head of the Andy Sign here, bringing you this week's war. In today's album review, I want to go over an overlooked release from 2002 from the now defunct band Audiovent called Dirty Sexy Nights in Paris which also happens to be their mainstream debut. This album has been quite difficult to find, but after many weeks of searching, I found it. Now, let's begin the review. Here's my personal backstory. I first heard Audio Event on a Friday when my mom and I were picking up pizza from Little Caesars. Their single, The Energy, was on the Sirius XM channel Bone Saw, and I loved it. It reminded me of the 90s post-grunge era in a good way. After looking them up online, I managed to download The Energy, but I couldn't find anything else until recently when I got their album. I also looked for clips of them on YouTube, but there are only a handful. Apparently, Audio Event broke up after an unsuccessful tour with Theory of a Dead Man and Incubus, and before their label dropped them. Fun fact! Most of the members of Audio Event are related to the members of Incubus, which might explain why they weren't a big hit on tour. Nepotism, anyone? Now here's the track breakdown. The first track and the main song that everybody knows from Audio Event, The Energy, is a killer dose of post-grunge era rock. The next song, Looking Down, is their second single that has a big Foo Fighters feel to it. Track three is I Can't Breathe, which reminds me a lot of Papa Roach. Up next is When the Rain, a slower number that has a passing resemblance to Alice in Chains. After that, it's One Small Choice, a song that screams alternative rock circa late 90s, early 2000s. Sweet Frustration is a lighter acoustic piece that gives me the feeling of being on a beach. The seventh track, Stalker, is a short but sweet rock track that you can definitely dance to. Gravity starts out with a Nirvana-esque drumline and progresses into one of the best tracks on this album. Underwater Silence has a System of Down stain vibe about it, but offers something original too. Track 10 is Back and Forth, an alternative rock number that's single worthy. The next track, Beautiful Addiction, sounds like we're getting near the end of the album if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's actually not that bad, but it's not that original either. After that is the 12th and final track on this album, When I Drown, which threw me for a loop with the piano, but it's a nice closing track to this album nonetheless. Now here are the goodies, the baddies, and the uglies of this album. Although some people online have criticized the slick production of On Dirty Sexy Nights in Paris, I don't mind it because Nirvana had a similar quote-unquote problem with Nevermind, and it's one of my all-time favorite albums. Being able to look at the tracks beyond the energy and looking down, I can see why this band didn't really go anywhere, commercially speaking. Audio Vent did put a lot of interesting parts within the songs, but I kept on getting the feeling that I've heard all of it before. I'm not saying there's copyright infringement afoot, but there are loads of stylistic similarities that make it hard for me to connect with them. I'm sure others who have listened to Dirty Sexy Nights in Paris can say the same thing too. Listening to them live via the few clips on YouTube also shed some light on their problems. Their singer, while he sounded great on the album, was struggling big time on stage. He also had a habit of mimicking Robert Plant with his prancing and all that. It's kind of weird. Now here's the verdict. Even with the overly slick production, Been There Done That songs, and a singer that wasn't very good on stage, Audio Vent's Dirty Sexy Nights in Paris is a fun look back to the end of the post-grunge era. Now, here are my six tracks to give a clicky click. The Energy, Looking Down, I Can't Breathe, When the Rain, Stalker, Gravity, and Back and Forth. This is the disembodied head of the Andes on here. Feel free to leave a comment. Check out Audio Vent's Dirty Sexy Nights in Paris. I'll put the link in the sidebar if you'd like to buy it via Amazon. And, uh, yeah, check it out. You can even uh, preview some tracks online. And, uh, have a good one. See ya.